I'm making this video because at the age of 47, I was diagnosed after a lifetime of struggling with being forgetful and being able to focus and being able to finish tasks. At the age of 47, I was diagnosed with ADD. And it was a diagnosis that was life-changing because I finally had a name to explain something that I had been struggling with since I was a little girl. Now, if you're a woman, 25 plus, or you have somebody in your life, 25 plus a woman, this is an incredibly important video for them to watch. I'm gonna share everything that you need to know so you can figure out if this is something that you may be dealing with. Now, one major wah, 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 disclaimer is I'm not a doctor, and this video is not being meant to diagnose you. This video is being created so I can share really important life-changing information with you, and with the people that you love that could help you if this is something that you're struggling with. So let's first talk about ADD. So ADD, in my research, what I've come to learn is that when ADD and ADHD became a phenomenon, I guess in the 70s is when they first started diagnosing kids with this, all of the experts studied boys. And so all of the signs that the experts were trained to look for related to boys. And when a boy has ADD, it presents very differently than when a little girl has ADD. Boys can be jumpy, they can be impulsive, they can be very physical, they move around a lot. Guess what girls do? They don't do any of that. When a girl has ADD, what happens is she tends to daydream. She tends to lose her train of thought. She tends to be hypercritical of herself. She tends to start to withdraw a little bit. And here's the piece that's super important. When a young girl and a young boy has ADD and it goes undiagnosed, what happens is the inability to focus, the self-criticism, the feelings of unworthiness start to increase. When you start to see yourself being unable to do the simple things everybody else seems to be able to do, you start to beat up on yourself more. So what happens for a lot of young girls that are failed to be diagnosed with ADD when they're struggling with it? They develop anxiety. They develop depression. They start turning all the struggle inward at themselves. That's exactly what happened to me. Think about this. There's a huge spike of women that start to experience anxiety in their late teens and their early 20s. That's exactly what happened to me. Anxiety is easy to spot, so is depression. Experts start to treat anxiety and depression as the root cause of your problem, when what I learned the hard way, I didn't learn this until I was 47, is that the major issue I had been struggling with was undiagnosed and untreated ADD. You can quiet the anxiety, you can learn how to live with depression, but if the ADD continues to go untreated by a professional, all of the disempowering things that you feel about yourself stay there and even get bigger. Here's what I want you to consider. If you're 25 or older and you do struggle with some of these very common symptoms, you think you have brain fog, you can't get through your to-do list, you can't seem to focus on things, you have a hard time directing yourself, your cabinets are open, your keys are lost, I want you to consider that you may just may have an issue connected to ADD. What do you do? Well, number one, you've got to go see a licensed professional. This is what I did. I read this article. I was like, oh my God, they're talking about me. I go see a doctor. It literally, one appointment, they're like, mm-hmm, you're pretty textbook. Number two, if your doctor recommends that you take medication and you're comfortable with it, I certainly have had great success. My capacity to be able to stay on task and to remember has been expanded exponentially. ADD is also genetic. So as soon as I realized this about myself, guess what I did with my daughters? And guess what? One of our two also has ADD, but she had been treated for anxiety because her ADD had never been diagnosed. Third, and this is really, really important, there are strategies. Once you know you're dealing with ADD, there are strategies that you can use beyond medication that will help you uh, coach yourself to stay focused and on task. And one of those strategies that is critical is exercise. 
Now, this is not me making this up. This comes from Dr. John Rady. It comes from Ned Hollowell, the two leading experts on ADD in the world. Both of them always prescribe exercise as part of the treatment plan for anybody that they are treating when it comes to ADD. And the reason why is because we know that when you exercise, it changes your brain chemistry. There is what Dr. John Rady calls miracle grow for the brain that gets stimulated when you do just 20 minutes of cardio. It's life-changing stuff. Again, big disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. This video is not for the purposes of diagnosing you. I cannot do that. I'm not treating you with anything. I'm simply sharing information that changed my life. Suddenly, the last 30 years of my life made a lot of sense. Now, I live very successfully and productively with ADD. And yes, occasionally, I do leave things on planes, and I do leave the faucet running, and I do leave the cabinet doors opening.